Oh man, where do we begin? The Simon line balance is stirring up quite the controversy in the disc golf space. It seems to be every MVP fan is talking about this at the moment. And we even got an official statement from MVP in regards to the name of the balance. Now, if we look at the PDGA approved discs and we look at balance, we have another mold called the balance from Essential Discs. Now, MVP is claiming that they came up with the name balance and then trademarked the name before Essential Discs got their disc PDGA approved and thus have the trademark rights to that name. Now, the funny part about this, there's a few things. I have some DMs from Simon as well. So I actually asked Simon what was going on and got a kind of official response from Simon as well. What's funny is I actually have the Essential Discs balance right here, which is kind of funny. I was like, oh man, I have one of those. It's actually a good disc. Kind of flies like a slightly straighter Buzz OS. But what I also have here is a Neutron Vector. And now the Vector is what the Simon Line balance was supposed to be like. And I got that straight from Simon himself because I pulled up the let's go to the prototype page here go to the photos i have a vector and when i saw this picture the side profile of the vector looks the exact same or at least extremely similar to the profile on the pdga approved discs page don't worry i'll go out and throw this for you guys so you guys can see what the stock run of the balance is going to pretty much feel like as well as fly like so simon's trying to recreate this disc right here the vector I did ask Simon if the original mold just no longer exists, but he sort of just didn't even answer that part of the question. I didn't want to overstep my boundaries if they didn't, he didn't want to talk about it. So I have my DM conversation from Simon right here. Simon, I asked Simon, is the balance basically a vector? It seems similar. I'm going to do a video on the new midrange, so I want to get some clarification. And Simon said... These are his own words. The flight was supposed to be like the Vector. The prototypes fly much more like a Pyro, so we had to tweak the mold. And as you know, that takes months. The disc has the feel of a reactor and essentially flies like a Pyro. So it's like a reactor married a Pyro. That's not really a disc that MVP needs in their lineup. Due to it being a Simon Line disc, people are going to buy it. So that kind of is what it is. If there's a Simon Line disc, people are going to flock for it. People buy the Gyropalooza boxes for it. Simon Lazat Mania is in full swing, and that just is what it is. So I asked Simon, do they no longer have access to the original Vector mold? I have an old Neutron one on the shelf, and it's very nice. Also, one last question, the name, will the name change because the other company having that name approved? I remember the same thing happened when Clash made the Kiwi, but RPM already had the Kiwi, so they changed the name to the Guava. Um, Clash and RPM are not nearly as po uh, popular as MVP. So a lot of that might have went over people's radars, but I've actually seen this situation happen before. And Clash had to actually change their name because RPM had the rights to the name. So that's what I thought was going to happen in this situation. But MVP is smart. They plan ahead. They think ahead. And they're playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers. And this came directly from Simon. No, the name will stay the same since we have the legal rights to it. We had it trademarked way before the other company got it PDGA approved. And I said, thanks for the updates. So I got an official statement right from Simon Lazat that I thought you guys would want to see. Now, I am going to go outside real quick before I upload this video so I can show you guys. I'm going to throw this balance because I actually think it's a fire disc, um, regardless of whether or not they have to change the name or not. It's really nice plastic. Um, it's like cool metal flake. It's like a nice, like straight-ish it's like more stable than a Buzz, but a little more pushy than a Buzz OS. It's a really nice mid-range. And then this is what Simon wants the balance to be like. I have a Neutron Vector here. It's, I mean, this is what they are going for with the new balance. And the mold just didn't come out right. So now they have a Reactor Pyro Baby instead of a Vector. So they wanted a Vector. They wound up with a Pyro Reactor Baby. Let's shoot outside real quick now that you guys have all of the facts and all of the information right from Simon Lazat himself. And I'll show you guys how this vector flies so you can see what to expect from the stock balance. All right, here we are. Movie magic, just like that. We've got the vector here. I'll show you guys the side profile. This is what Simon wants this stock balance to be. Uh, luckily, I picked one up off the used bin the other day. I didn't know that this controversy was going to happen, but... This is why I buy these out of production discs, because you just never know when you're going to need it. Um, I've got the balance here, too, which is we'll throw that just for just for comedic value. And then I've got a neutron detour and a proton 
hex. Yeah, we'll throw the vector last. Give me a couple warm-up throws here. Let's see how all this stuff flies. I got the balance here, the original balance. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a nice little piece. It's like a pushy Buzz OS. Quite a nice disc, actually. And then we've got the Neutron Detour. Absolute beauty. Look at that flight. Woo! Love me a good detour. Then we've got a Proton Hex. I've been throwing my Lazadal in a couple of videos, and it's just too stable, so I wanted to throw this Proton one and see if it's a little straighter. Oh, okay, that's a lot more how a Hex is supposed to fly. That was a lot more pushy. And then the moment you've all been waiting for. Got a one, I think this is a 174 patent pending neutron vector. Nice. Straight, pushy flight. Maybe even a little straighter than the Lazadal Hex. And they're doing a bunch of leaf blowing right now, so hopefully you guys can't hear the sweet, soothing, and luxurious sounds of landscaping in the distance. Usually the noise canceling on these bad boys is pretty good, but lo and behold, you never know until you watch the footage. Oh man, I was out here filming the other day. Apparently I left my fuse out here. Let's go. What a find. All righty. Let's give everything, I guess, one more throw and then we'll close out today's video. Didn't bring a towel out here. Everything's kind of soaking wet. We'll throw the balance. I know you guys don't really probably care about seeing the balance fly, but I actually really like this disc and I think it's fair to give them a little bit of the spotlight as well over at Essential Discs. It's a solid flyer. So I wonder who's actually going to have to change the name. But at the moment, it seems like Essential Discs is going to have to change the name to something else. This is the Neutron Detour. Beauty. One of the greatest mids in the game right there got OTB Proton Hex. Force the issue a little bit. The thing will actually turn a little bit, unlike the overstable Lazadal. Now we've got what you guys are here to see. We'll just call this the balance, because this is what it's eventually going to be like. All right, guys, we'll throw the vector one last time for you guys. One last look at how the balance is likely going to fly based on what we know so far. Like torque resistant and stable, but still straight. And that's, I'm sure, what they were trying to recreate with the balance. Didn't quite nail it the first time. I do think it's going to wind up being in the Gyropalooza boxes as the prototype form because I'm sure they've already made a ton of them. So it's just going to be the way that it is. I don't think people are going to really like throwing it a ton, the prototype version. But I think because it is a prototype Simon Line disc that is not quite the right mold, I do think it's highly collectible for those who like collecting MVP Axiom and Simon Line discs. So I think those boxes are going to be pretty desirable. If you do want to get a Jarapalooza box, you'll be able to save money with my storefront over at Disc Golf Deals USA. When that eventually does come, we discount all products, including MVP Axiom and Streamline over at the site. Click the link to visit my storefront. It's in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay humble. Live with gratitude. See you guys in the next one. Take care.